today I want to talk about, I'm going to peel this orange while I do this, um, because why not, but today I want to talk about my goals and the goals I set for this year, um, but yeah, I just have a list of 2022 goals, I really like the sound of the year 2022, but my mom and I were talking and we decided we're not going to say this is going to be our year because we did that in 2020 and we all know what happened. It was some people's year. It really was, but not ours. So we, we decided just to say that uh, we're going to overcome the challenges that come our way. And then I told that to my friend Tracy and she also said something like, and also uh, take in all of the joy as well. So... My goals in 2022, I want to exercise. I try, I've tried to get an exercise routine. I love going on walks and I love talking to the trees. <laughs> so that's cool. So yes, I want to exercise. My goal is to just do uh, three walks a week to start because I know baby steps are important when you're trying to create habits. So I guess it's, so the goal is creating a habit of exercising. Uh, my next goal is mindfulness knowledge. So I think mindfulness has changed my life in a lot of ways. And it has made me a better person. It's made me appreciate life in a new way. And I, I think it really can heal or be one thing that can help heal so I want to be more knowledgeable behind the science of mindfulness because I think sometimes it's helpful when expressing how something has helped you to like also show the like proven benefits next is I want to make I want to make $600 a month from my music by the end of the year Right now, I make, I lose money <laughs> on music because I invest a lot of my money that I've saved and that I make at the restaurant into uh, the artists, producers, musicians that help me uh, create my music. Yeah, I want a solid band and an excellent live show. Um, I think I'm building a solid band. It's been a process and a journey of letting go to achieve that. And I know I'll have to continue to do that. Um, so that will come with time. But I am, uh, I'm excited to, I'm excited where it's at now. Uh, I want to play around the Midwest. So once I have that team and we're practiced and ready to go. I want to go beyond Nebraska. My next goal is I want to finish the second half of my EP. I have the songs to a certain point. I'm just looking for producers to finish them. So yeah, right now I'm just getting them to a place where I feel comfortable sending them off to some producers that I found online. I have complete album on here, but that seems like a big goal considering that the second half of the EP isn't done. So I don't know if complete album is, an, uh, is a realistic goal. I'm trying to set more realistic goals. I think it probably needs to be, uh, you know, work on the album or maybe like half the album done, something like that. The next goal is to have a really solid brand. So I've been working on it for the last year, getting sand to be what it is. Um, so when I say brand, I guess some of the things are, I want to have awesome merch, I want to have my wardrobe looking great. I've been actually working with a designer and we're creating a custom jacket, Charmaine, you're awesome. And so it's that, it's, the brand is like, what does it smell like at my show? What are the visuals? You know, what, what does it look like? Um, and then further, like, what is my 
presence on social media look like? I guess we'll jump into my social media goals, which are, um, I want to post three to five times a week, It'll probably three at first for a while because I can barely post once a week sometimes because I just have trouble with it. I guess my trouble, I've always had trouble with social media. <clears throat> And recently when Facebook went down, it just felt like a weight lifted off my shoulders. It felt like I was free. And then I also realized that people are, uh, I guess, making a lot of money off of it. And those people are maybe making decisions uh, or influencing decisions that I don't necessarily agree with. And I also realized that people can get addicted to it so sometimes it's scary to be a part of that, even though I may be going to extreme in my thinking with that because I think a lot of people are not uh, addicted to it, but I, I, I do fear that I contribute to something that could be negative to people and to society. I do want to be on it because I think I can bring something um, positive and real and genuine uh, to a place that we know uh, isn't necessarily. I have here I want to do a YouTube video a week. That seems like a lot. I don't even know. I forgot I even wrote that down so I gotta figure out how to put that into practice. I don't even know what it would be. Another goal I have is to go out to shows, which I have neglected over the past four years because for one, I've been working every single weekend and haven't been able to go out to the shows. Though that might may be a bit of an excuse because I've had the weekdays to go, which I've gone to shows throughout the last four years, but just not as many as I should. So I'm really looking forward to going out and learning and being a part of the music community here in Omaha. In my Final goal I've listed here is to visit uh, local stores and shops, like go hang out in local coffee shops and contribute in that way uh, to my community because I think I had, that's where one of my things with being on Instagram got to me was uh, I felt like I wasn't making genuine connections with people. It was just, it was just a little bit more superficial so I think I just need to actually get out into my community and having that balance between being present within my community and being present online, I think, I think that's the way that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to go that way because I think if I neglect being on social media, I may miss out on an opportunity. I just don't want it to, I just wanna stay authentic and genuine to myself when I'm on these platforms so. so yeah those are my goals for 2022 I'm excited so these oranges are bomb so Kansas Colorado Is Colorado the Midwest still I think so North Dakota uh, Illinois Minnesota, Michigan, uh, I guess Oklahoma. I need to get better at my geography. I did make a really cool map when I was in like fourth grade of all the states. I was very proud of it. <laughs>